our first session of this second module and this is a module that is directly based on your feedback as to what you wanted so i'm very excited about it a lot of interesting topics that we are going to cover here hi narendra good evening good evening all of you who are live just give me a thumbs up so that i know you guys are here and then we can start with the session hi suprita right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first introduce you to this second module i'm going to discuss uh, the key aspects of this second module with you just to give you a brief idea as to what we are going to do in the next 2 uh, and a half to 3 months uh, this is predominantly based on the common topics that you guys wanted me to cover and so i tried to make some sense into how i want to approach this subject so what i thought was it would be best if i introduce you to the physiology of respiration first that is respiratory physiology uh then you wanted the nutrition and fluid therapy in icu a very untouched topic of uh, uh can you hear me <clears throat> just a second <clears throat> oh, excuse me can you hear me can you see me if audio video is fine just give me a nod yeah right so then i thought that i am going to cover the fluid therapy in icu which would then be comprising of iv fluids its physiology and discussion of all fluids total parenteral nutrition it's a very very interesting topic but it takes a lot of time for us to understand and remember it sepsis because everybody asked for sepsis so we are going to discuss the surviving sepsis bundle and the basic understanding of how we do things when you have a septic shock patient then comes the most important part which was on demand for a very long time that is the mechanical ventilation and of course we can't uh take mechanical ventilation as a complete topic that means mechanical ventilation in all the diseases and abg and everything because that itself will become a huge huge uh module which will not be able to cover in a very long time so rather than that let's break it down let's start with the basics of mechanical ventilation the concept of mechanical ventilation and the basic modes then we are going to discuss the advanced mode of ventilation which forms lot of uh, <coughs> theory questions for you in your theory exams then we'll discuss weaning criteria and modes all the criteria that are there for weaning and then we are going to discuss ventilator graphics and we are going to simplify them in a way that we can make it and if we get a ventilator graphic as a oski in the exam uh, in the practical exam then we'll be able to identify the type of ventilation and what is being asked and finally because you all wanted therefore i'll cover sedation in icuq icu with its pharmacology and its applications so this is going to be a basic understanding of how we are going to do things in the uh, second module all right we are going to have weekly classes mostly wednesdays or thursdays 
sometimes it can change depending on my schedule your schedule stuff like that but i'll inform it to you at least 2 to 3 days in prior timings would be usually 9 to 11 or 9 to till the time we want to do it we want to do it and uh, yeah now because i took lot of feedback from you therefore i came to a common conclusion that we have to also do things uh, in a way that it is helpful for us in the exam right so this module what i am going to do is i am going to discuss things based on the dnb paper because dnb is what i consider the standard of theory in india if you prepare for dnb theory then automatically all the state exams all the university exams will be covered because dnb prima facie you asks everything about everything eventually and it has a very specific pattern that is 